Howtoons uh, is a comic book illustrator, Nick Dragotta, uh, an inventor, myself, Saul Griffith, and a toy designer, Ingrid Dragotta, uh, Nick's wife. And we combine all of those skills uh, and we use comics to teach kids the science behind toys they can build for themselves. We've been doing this project now for over 10 years and we have a huge library of things to make covering all different kinds of STEM topics. Some of the projects include soda bottle goggles, pinwheels, uh, different kinds of rockets, robotic fingers, spool racers, bubble solution, and more. If you can just expose kids to ideas of science and engineering and build an intuition at a young age, then later when you actually want to teach them with the curriculum, they're all like, they'll be able to recognize the concepts from fun things that they built a long time ago. My goal as the artist is to integrate the education material and the instructions as seamlessly as possible into the storytelling. So if readers want to create the marshmallow shooter that they see in the comic, they just have to follow the blueprint. From there we go into a little bit of the science behind the shooter and we talk about force, gravity, air resistance and friction. And then we like to end these tunes with a panel that hopefully encourages them maybe to build their own marshmallow shooters. And that's really the end goal. Can we create tales that are so compelling that they want to get off the couch and go live the adventure and learn through play? The Gamibot is one of my favorite how tunes. We can combine this great tradition of origami with electronics by adding a small vibration motor that you can find in an old cell phone and a coin battery you can now make these folded shapes move we want to use materials that are really cheap and easy to come by most of the stuff to make these projects you probably already have lying around in your house Saul always wanted to do a zoetrope, which is a great way to teach kids about the simple principles of animation and persistence of vision. Um, but we could never get the materials quite right. Originally it was going to be a bike wheel, then a record player, and then just through a happy accident and experimentation, we tried a CD on top of a chapstick canister, and who knew, it makes a perfect axle. And those happy accidents are something we want to encourage kids to experience. We want them to experiment, uh, we want them to fail, and who knows, within those failures might be your next great invention. Uh, we had some great kids today that even managed to invent new toys while they were building it. So one kid realized that you could put the stump rocket on the marshmallow shooter and make a combo. Uh, so I'm pretty sure just by that experience that these kids were on top of it and they, they learned a lot and had a lot of fun. Ready, Bella? Three. Two, one. Oh. Oh.